my name is Misaki, and I live with my husband, Naifu, while balancing work and home responsibilities as a part-time housewife. I work at my parents' bakery, and right now, I'm super busy juggling housework, my job, and some special preparations. You see, Naifu and I just got married recently, and our wedding ceremony is set for three months from now. The best part is that my parents are planning to make our wedding cake. Misaki, do you have any preferences for the cake? How about a flower cake with frilly flowers to match your dress? Or maybe a Milky Way cake that mimics a starry night sky? Oh, how about a grand cake inspired by a five-story pagoda? Mom, calm down. And stop preparing test cakes while you're talking. We haven't decided anything yet. Uh, you've already cracked about ten eggs. Hey, Dad, could you please help me stop her? How about a baby cake with you two holding a baby? We don't even have a baby, let alone one on the way. These overly enthusiastic, yet sometimes a bit scattered, people are my parents. They were so excited to be in charge of my wedding cake, seeing how eager they were made me happy, and I wanted to support them as much as I could, so I put even more effort into my work. Then one day, after a wedding planning meeting, we went to a cafe, and Naifu suddenly struck up a conversation with a woman I didn't know. Could it be, Keiki? Wow, it's been a while. How have you been? You're still wearing those fluffy, voluminous clothes like a cake, huh? Naifu, long time no see, and you're still rocking that sharp, spiky hairstyle like a knife, I see. I remember you used to poke Daiki with that hair. Good times. Misaki, this is my childhood friend, Keiki. She's also Daiki Senpai's wife. Nice to meet you. I never thought there was someone else who's been a victim of Naifu's hairstyle besides me. Nice to meet you. Hmm? You're even plainer than I imagined. How did you two end up getting married? Come on, it's fine. So, you're not with Daiki Senpai right now. The guy with the avant-garde, knife-like hairstyle is Naifu, and the woman dressed in sweet, cake-like outfits is Keiki. Keiki is married to Daiki, a senior from college whom Naifu really admired. Although Keiki is very beautiful, she casually dissed me the first time we met, which made me really uncomfortable. So, after we got home, I decided to ask Naifu more about her. What's Keiki like? I was really shocked when she dissed me the first time we met. Oh yeah, she often gets misunderstood. She's got a sharp tongue, but deep down, she's a good person. Try to understand her, Misaki. I know you can do it. Are you planning to invite her to our wedding? If so, I'd really prefer if you didn't, please. Uh, but she's my childhood friend. Alright, I get it, Misaki. I won't invite her. It seemed like Naifu was pretty close with Keiki, but I asked him not to invite her to the wedding. Though he agreed reluctantly, it eased my worries just a bit. After that, our days became busy with wedding preparations. I'm home, so sleepy. Another night out drinking? Can you please help with the wedding preparations? It's a lot of work. Yeah, thanks for all the work you've been doing today. I'm going to sleep now. Naifu started coming home in the early morning more often, claiming he was at company drinking parties. No matter how many times I asked him to stop, he wouldn't listen, and he even went out on his days off, which made me suspicious. Despite these feelings, the day of the wedding arrived, and the ceremony went off without a hitch. I felt a bit relieved as we transitioned to the reception, but then I noticed Keiki, who wasn't supposed to be there. Wow, that wedding cake is huge. It's even taller than my hair. I'm impressed. Misaki's parents made it, isn't it amazing? But your hair is pretty impressive too. It's like a three-layered ice cream cone, and those feathers sticking out like a phoenix. It's like we've time-traveled to early modern Europe. Exactly. I'm a huge fan of Marie Antoinette. This hairstyle is my tribute to her, and of course the dress too. And that tiny waist. It looks like I could crush it with both hands. How do you even do that? I had a custom corset made, of course, and a petticoat to make the skirt puff out like a balloon. It's so tight I can eat anything more. I'm so stuffed. Unbelievable. It's a miracle, right? Whoa. Um, could you please keep it down a little? And why are you even here? Oh, look, there's a long knife next to the cake. Hey, Naifu, come over here and grab this knife. Wait, what? What are you planning to do? I was thinking about cutting Naifu's hair with it, but... I guess it wouldn't be right to mess up the groom's hair with all that cream, would it? Come on, that's a bit too much, don't you think? Oh, relax. Come on, just grab the knife. I've always wanted to do this. Let's cut the cake. Looks like we're the ones getting married now. Yeah, cake cutting time. Whoa, 
It's a miracle. Unbelievable. Everyone, take pictures. Just kidding. Wait, what? Are you serious? Did you really just cut the cake? Haha, <laughs> don't you think I look more like the bride? Yeah, you're cuter, have a better figure, and are more glamorous than me, Saki. Plus, since you're having a wedding with Daiki Senpai, it's great you got some practice. I'm so glad I came to Naifu's wedding. I never thought I'd get to practice cutting the cake. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't just cut the cake without permission. What's the big deal? It's just a practice cut before the real thing. As long as we don't slice it up, it's fine to cut it as many times as we want, right? Exactly. Getting all worked up over this, you really are a small-minded woman. Yeah, Misaki doesn't have the same cool confidence you do, so give her a break. Oh well, I suppose I can forgive her. After all, I'm broad-minded in both heart and skirt. Naifu and Keiki had the nerve to cut into the cake my parents had poured their hearts into making for us. I was stunned, overwhelmed with anger and sadness at how thoughtless they were. Then, a man grabbed the microphone. Attention, everyone, the wedding is cancelled. Her? What do you mean, cancelled? Wait, Deki senpai What? Why are you here? I thought you were on a business trip overseas. Misaki contacted me, so I came back in a hurry. Is there a problem with that? Of course there is. What do you mean the wedding is cancelled? This is our wedding. You can't just decide that. Actually, there's no problem at all. I was thinking of cancelling it too. What? Misaki, what are you talking about? We just finished the ceremony. We can't stop now. What's unbelievable is your behavior. That cake was something my parents made with love for us, and you just cut into it without permission. It's unforgivable. Misaki is absolutely right. Who in their right mind would take over someone else's wedding cake and cut it? Especially a cake filled with the love of your in-laws. I'm ashamed to even call you my brother-in-law. Oh, come on, there's no need to get so angry. It was just a little practice. How embarrassing would it be if this modern-day Marie Antoinette messed up cutting the cake? Don't compare yourself to Antoinette. It's disrespectful to her. You can pretend to be Antoinette all you want, but let's not forget. She met a tragic end because of the people's anger. Exactly. In that sense, you're just like her. You're about to face a tragic ending because you've made us all angry. Stop using Antoinette's name to mock me. I'm the only one who has the right to that name. You're both overreacting. This is obviously just a joke, right? We didn't mean any harm. Maybe the joke was just too sophisticated for everyone here. Sophisticated? More like nonsensical. There are some things you just don't do. This was way out of line. Well said, Misaki. If you don't even understand right from wrong, you have no business trying to make jokes. Apologize and get out of here. Unbelievable. You're all so uptight. We didn't destroy the cake or anything. Look, it's just a tiny cut barely noticeable. We could cut the cake a hundred times and it wouldn't matter. Exactly. Daiki, you're being so petty. A serious, boring guy like you is going to drive me away. Enough! This cake was made with love for my daughter. Even as a joke, having an unrelated person cut it is unacceptable. Dad, Mom, I'm so sorry. You worked so hard on this cake. Don't apologize, Misaki. You did nothing wrong. Don't look so sad. That's right. The blame lies entirely with this woman who wasn't even invited. And this man who didn't stop her. Even you two, I get that you want to defend your daughter, but this is too much. Look, look, it's just a small cut. The cake is still perfectly fine. Who do you think you are? I don't remember having a son. And I've never had, nor will I ever have, a child as clueless as you. What? You can just say that. We just exchanged vows, and I've been accepted into the family. Even if the gods themselves recognize you as family, we won't. Yes, though we might recognize you in hell. Daiki, Keiki's husband, and my parents all criticized Naifu and Keiki, but the two of them didn't seem to care at all. That's a joke, right? Hana, I didn't know you had such a great sense of humor. Do you really think this is a joke? Let me repeat myself. We made this cake for Misaki. It wasn't meant to be a practice dummy for a low-rent Marie Antoinette wannabe. Low-rent? What do you mean by that? Seriously, you're all way too uptight. Why are you getting so worked up? You're acting so childish for your age. Childish? Fine by me. You can't be a parent without being fully invested. Bring on the immaturity. You can't raise a child without giving it your all every single time. Well said, dear. 
That's the man I fell in love with. Oh, did you fall in love with me all over again? Okay, okay, that's enough, you too. Keep the lovey-dovey stuff for later, there are people watching. Oops, my bad. I almost lost myself there. You two are quite the entertaining couple. I'm sorry, this must be embarrassing. No, I think it's great. I really like this kind of thing. I'm glad to hear that, Daiki-san. Naifu has told me about you. I've heard about you too, Misaki-san. Despite everything that's happened, if you'd like, maybe sometime. Wait, wait, why is there romance flying around everywhere? Isn't today supposed to be the day Misaki and I are united in love? And who ruined that? You too, of course. That's right, and since the cake was ruined, Keiki-san, I'll be billing you 300,000 yen for it. What? No way. 300,000 yen for a cake? That's outrageous. That's a total R.I.P. off. What are you talking about? Wedding cakes are massive and require a lot of ingredients. And more than that, it's a custom design. Do you know how much time and effort went into it? That's right. It was a one-of-a-kind cake and you ruined it. You'll have to take responsibility. You're serious. Daiki, help me out here. You're my beloved husband, aren't you? The love was left behind long ago. That's why this is the end. I'm divorcing you. What? Divorcing over a cake? That's ridiculous. What are you thinking? What's ridiculous is that you can dismiss everything that's happened as just a cake. That's beyond thoughtless. It's more than enough reason for divorce. But that's not all. What do you mean? Stop trying to make me the bad guy. I haven't done anything wrong. If you keep saying such absurd things, I'll sue you for defamation. Do you still have the nerve to say that after seeing this photo? What is this? Why are Naifu and Keiki at a hotel together? And their arms are wrapped around each other. They look awfully close. What are you doing, Deiki senpai This is blatant defamation. Yeah. How dare you show a fake photo like that in front of everyone? Still denying it. Well, I've got video proof too. There's no talking your way out of this. What do you have to say for yourself, Naifu? Misaki, this is all part of Deiki Senpai's plan. He's jealous of my sharp, knife-like hair and used Keiki to set me up. Who in the right mind would be jealous of that ridiculous shark fin hairstyle? Stop trying to blame this on me. With Daiki presenting evidence of Naifu and Keiki's affair, the situation quickly took a dramatic turn. Naifu, what is the meaning of this? You just pledged eternal love to Misaki, didn't you? This really makes me think it's time to consider sending you straight to hell. Maybe I should whip up that special juice again. Wait, you mean the legendary juice that only appears during the height of your marital spats? Please, no. Anything but that it's far too destructive. Now I'm curious, what kind of juice is this? You know, we should give it to them. After all, Daiki and I are both getting divorced anyway. Misaki, could you stop making such serious announcements so casually? It was just a moment of weakness. Keiki and I had a thing in the past, and I got nostalgic. Don't give me that. Whether it was a moment of weakness or with an ex, it's still a betrayal. This is absolutely unacceptable. You're going to pay me alimony, cover the wedding costs, and pay for the honeymoon, all of it. You've got to be kidding. Do you have any idea how much that would cost? The wedding alone was 3 million yen. If you add it all up, it's an insane amount. There's no way I can pay that. That's your problem. You'll pay it, even if you have to borrow money. You're the one who betrayed me. And I'll be asking for 3 million yen in alimony too. That's impossible. Do you know how much today's hairstyling cost me? And the corset and petticoat. It's ridiculous. That alimony is way too high. I can't pay that. Maybe you should have thought of that before spending all my hard-earned money while I was away on business trips. You'll pay me back for all of it. Naifu, please. I'm broke. Help me out here. There's no way I can help you. Didn't you just hear what I said? What's with that attitude? Don't you dare. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you're a man, take responsibility. What? Stop pretending to be the helpless woman when it suits you. I've spent a fortune on you. How about you start paying me back? Enough. The reception will be downgraded to a simple dinner. You two need to leave now. Wait, Misaki, I was wrong. I apologize with all my heart and with my shark hair. I don't need that. Take this. Aw, uh, it broke. My other half broke. Daiki, I love you. Please take all of me. Don't cling to me. Actually, with all that hair and skirt, I can't even get close to you. Egg. 
If only I could use my feminine charm. You'd be all mine. I'm completely over it. Goodbye. I'll be sending you a formal bill later, so be ready for it. This is going to be the most fun I've ever had writing an invoice. No. I should never have messed with someone else's wedding cake. I should have said no to the cake cutting with my childhood friend. And so, both Naifu and I, as well as Daiki and Keiki, ended up divorcing. The drama during our wedding quickly became the talk of Naifu's workplace, and he couldn't stand the judgmental looks from everyone. Unable to bear the shame, he impulsively quit his job. However, when I filed for alimony and the other wedding-related expenses, he instantly regretted resigning. Both Naifu and Keiki tried to rely on their families, but after hearing the whole story from Daiki and my parents, their relatives refused to help. The two of them became infamous in their hometown, with people everywhere pointing fingers and calling them the cake divorce couple. Now, they live together in a small apartment, working part-time jobs and struggling to pay off their debts. As for me. Hello, I'm here to buy a short cake today. Daiki-san, welcome. Thank you for coming in all the time. Oh my, since you're here, Misaki, why don't you take a break and relax with him? What? No, but I have work to do. It's a slow time right now, so don't worry about it. Besides, we've been making sure you have some downtime. Huh? Dad, did you say something? Oh, don't worry about it, just go, go. What's going on? But Daiki-san, you seem to buy shortcake a lot. They're all delicious, but for some reason, shortcake feels special to me. What a coincidence, it's the same for me. It's like the shortcake is calling to me. Maybe you'll have a child who loves shortcake in the future. Just kidding. Mom, don't say weird things while carrying tea. A child who loves shortcake. A girl, maybe. Not a bad thought. Huh? Daiki-san? Did you just say something? No, no. I wasn't trying to skip ahead or anything. I mean, what am I saying? Daiki quickly became one of our regular customers. Strangely enough, whenever he comes in, my parents always suggest that I take a break. Daiki seems to be quietly pleased by this, and honestly, I don't mind it either. I can't think about the future just yet, but being around Daiki brings me a sense of peace. Maybe, when things settle down, it wouldn't be so bad to open my heart to a new romance. That's what I find myself thinking. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.